That's a nice one. Hi guys, bass fishing again today. We got a little underspin tied on here, and then we got a little PC Fun black and blue jig that we've been using lately. But we're gonna throw two different things, and I got a special surprise for y'all. I have a chest mount today, so y'all get to see me reeling and all that, because we missed a couple shots last time we were fishing, because I was further away, but we got that, we're gonna go fish these ponds over here. And then I think in a couple days, we may be going to a different place over where we live, just a little down the road. But yeah, so I think it's gonna be me and Jake today. May have some other people show up, but I'm not really sure. But let's go to the ponds and let's try to catch some bass. All right, we'll see y'all at the pond. Got the chest mount ready, see y'all there. It's been a little while since we fished, but today it's actually pretty warm. I think it's like 70 degrees today. Finally starting to hit that warm weather. Beds won't, or fish won't be on the beds right now, but they're so, they're, they'll start being, uh, getting their beds ready. So we're just gonna head up under the dock or this little walkway. Let's use this little underspin. Underspin and see what happens. All right, so we're at this first spot. It's really not anything, there's really nothing really good about it. It's just the only spots we really got around us. But this is the first pond we usually stop at. There's, there's some pretty big fish in here, if you can catch them. That's a nice one. Oh my Oh nice. Let's go, look at that baby. I was in the grass too. Oh yeah. Check that out. That's a nice one. Look at that. Oh yeah. All day. Look at that. Big boy. Nice healthy bass. She's getting ready for spawning. Heck yeah, look at that, nice fish. First one of the day, baby, heck yeah. Nice one. Look how red, you can already tell in the sunlight. It's kind of red, been fighting. Getting ready for that spawn, it's easy, baby. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good season, but we're gonna get her back in. Let her breathe, and when she's ready, she can go. Oh, she's ready. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Right here on the bank. Get back out there. See if we can get you. At a thousand miles per hour. Oh, should have waited. She probably. Probably over a little over three, right around three. I got my scale just in the truck. But that was sick. That was a good bite. I'm just on this black and blue jig. Been using it lately. Water's still kind of cold. I've been loving it. It's a six cents. I'm, I believe it's a six cents. Black and blue jig, and then a Crush City 
black and blue Rapala. I say Rapala, but I've heard, I've been hearing people say Rapala. So let me know down in the comments what, which one it is. I've heard two different things. But spawning season is going to be nice. We already got a couple bass. We know she's around here somewhere. So that's good. We get into late February, early March and stuff, when they're actually spawning real good. How I'm at the bank right here, you either want to go to a tree and work the sides of it. So I'm a, I, I caught the fish over here, so I'm going to go over here. And you want to just come up to it and then look and cast that way along the bank. Oh, yeah, nice. But you want to throw it this way. Because if you go running up over there and there's a bed over there, you're not going to catch the fish, you're going to scare it off. Yo. There's like, there's a fish right there. We just moved it off. But this grass mat, they're all, they're up under that. You won't see them because, it, I mean, look at it. I mean, look at it. You got a top water you can throw across that? Or a, a Texas rig? Something to get through that grass. You won't, you won't clog up your bait like I, I do on this jig, you could definitely get in there and be able to catch them. But you see how it's open right there? How it's open right there? Now right there, there'd probably be a bed there. And there was already a bass right there a second ago, so. I guarantee you there's one coming around March. So a couple videos ago, I asked y'all if y'all want to see us buy a couple kayaks and try to put the kayaks into this pond. I don't know what the rules are in the neighborhood, but if there's something y'all would like to see, let me know down in the comments if y'all want to see that because, I mean, we just walk right there, launch them right here, and go hit the banks. It'd be fun to do it in the springtime when they're in bed, so let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Might be able to fish a couple ponds on kayaks, I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll do it if that's what y'all want to see. And then we may be going to South Florida to catch some peacock bass and some snakeheads and all that, so that'd be fun. But just gonna try to catch some fish here. I think Jake texted me and said he's on his way. I don't know where he's at, but he's on his way. So he'll be fishing up with us and catching up with us in a little bit. And hopefully we can hopefully we can catch like a eight pounder today. That'd be nice. Like some people put Christmas trees in their ponds and they know where it's at so it might not be close to the bank but it'll be out in the water and usually there's fish on it over time just like blue marlin fishing those old rigs bait find their way to it and then next thing you know there's marlin sharks barracudas 
all that good stuff on there. I cast it over there already and just got back. They're digging the jig lately. Past couple of weeks they've been loving it. Shirt I'm wearing, the gunslinger shirt. Right here, my Instagram. If you go look at the, it's in my profile, in my bio, there's a little story you can click on. It says merch. You can click it and you can actually buy one of these shirts if you want or some of the other shirts we have. All you gotta do is DM me and I'll get your info and we'll uh, send it out next day. And if you're wondering what we have, we have these shirts in, or this, this shirt, this color, black. And we have just the Gunslinger TV shirts, not the fishing boat shirts. We got brown, green, dry fit, cotton, hoodies. So we got a pretty good variety. If you want to go show some love and buy some merch, just DM me and check out that story and we'll get you hooked up. Stickers, we have stickers too. I haven't posted our new stickers, but we have some duck stickers that turned out fire. So, if you're a big duck hunter, you want some Gunslinger TV duck stickers? Yes, sir. Yeah. Not as big as the first one, but we got another one. Male. Nice one. That's two. He's got a little ba battle wound on him right there. Oh, yeah. They've been fighting. All those scars on him. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, pre spawn. It's about to get crazy. Yeah. Pound. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Thanks for biting. And I'll see you in the spring. Oh yeah, he's ready. Get her off! <laughs> How I'm working this jig is I'm picking it up real nice and slow. Reeling down, letting it sink back down to the bottom, picking it up real nice and slow, reeling down and let it sink back, and most of them are biting it as it hits back on the bottom, except for that first fish, that first fish, it hit when I had grass on it, I was just reeling it back in, and any, any lean over, and lean over trees like this, or brush, is a good spot for beds too. That's why I keep working this tree. It's just in the water. They're protected. Alright, this is gonna be my last couple casts. And then we're gonna switch to a different pond. Hit those. I'm gonna go throw one more time at this spot where we saw that bass swim away. And then we're getting out of here. Uh. All right, next pond. All right, guys, head into the other pond. We finished up over there. We we worked that pond pretty good for just one person. But I was gonna throw that underspin out there, but I just kept catching grass. So we caught two fish out of there, so that's good. They also got a piece of me. Freaking no seems attacked me. I have bumps all over my legs. They're itching bad. But we're gonna head over to a different spot. You all the spots we're going to, you already probably saw, but we go ahead over there and see if we can get some more. We got about 
roughly an hour till dark. So daylight savings coming up very very soon. That's actually uh, a couple weeks from now, and then we won't be saying it's about to get dark. It'll be getting dark here around nine o'clock, which is good for fishing, but. I wish it was like that during deer season so we could hunt longer, but it's whatever. So we'll see how the next one. At our second location, the beautiful Mid Bay Bridge is over there. And one of our catfish friends is still back, or still dead over here. Yep, he is. But at our next location, and the trash in the water, we're gonna get that out. Set that right there. But we're here, and I only have a few more fish to catch on this before I have to change the soft plastic out because it's getting worn out. But we missed a couple fish here in a couple couple videos ago. We were catching some nice ones, but we were breaking off too. We've caught some fish here before. In previous videos you can go check those out but hopefully catch something you might throw the underspin here nice. in the tree oh oh there we go got it out Pretty good. Just trying to find them. I had a bite over there by that fountain. Nibbled on, and then when I went, I was getting ready to go set the hook, and I felt them let go. But I know they're in here. Just gotta find where they're at. Get them to actually bite. We're about to switch on before it gets dark. All right, Jake, tell us what this is. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Thank you. You gonna weigh it? Got a bass? He's reeling this like a topwater, just buzzing it across the water, and he came up and smashed it. So, I think we're gonna get a weight on it. So you weigh it? Yeah, you weigh it. That was about right. It's about what? It's a, almost a two and a half pounder. 2.6. Not too bad. I'll take it. Top water in winter doesn't happen very often. Well, well, Jake just caught a two and a half pounder. Nice one up against that wall over there. We're gonna switch ponds, switch the GoPro battery, and go work two more ponds before dark. Uh, feeling good. I'm feeling just bass fever. I love bass fishing. One of my favorite things other than blue marlin fishing. But caught some, some nice fish out of here. We're going to the next pond. See you there. New battery, new spot. I'm going to catch a fish. I told you, Kino. Yo, chill. Chill, dude. Chill. <laughs> there we go. Told y'all. I saw him on the bank. He hooked himself. Perfect. But yeah. He he kind of swirled the water out there, and I saw it. And look at that. Love bass fishing. All right, so as you can tell, we need to go switch this jig out real quick before we lose daylight. All 
as you can tell, I need to switch this jig out real quick. It's getting a little worn out. We don't have to, the skirt is just falling down. But we need to switch this crawl because it's been used a lot. And ran three. So we're gonna switch that out real quick and then get back to fishing. The new Crush City Rapala, Rapala, whatever y'all call them. This is the cleanup crawl, black and blue, three and a half inch. My favorite. Three and a half inch. Three and a half inch is a pretty good size. You don't need it bigger. You know, short kings out there. There you go. You know, always make sure. Break that apart. And then pocket. It's getting dark. We're gonna switch spots real quick and get up there before we turn the flight up. Last spot. Got a good looking sunset. Maybe we can get a eight pounder to bite on this beautiful sunset. That'd be nice. Eight pounder, finish off the video. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. Nice. Let's go. There we go, baby. And a beautiful sunset. There we go. A little guy, but we'll take it. Get him back in the water. Oh, see you later. Heck yeah. Alright guys, we just wrapped up. We caught four or five fish. I, four for sure. I, I can't remember if we caught any other ones. But let me know down in the comments how many it was. I'm pretty sure it's four. Four for sure. Maybe five, but it's a good day. Jake caught three. And then he caught that nicer one. And I caught that nice one in the first pond, but hey, spring's right around the corner. They're already pre-spawning. It's gonna be a good spring. I can feel it. Feel it in my veins. The bass, bass fever. I love bass fishing. But you'll see, you'll be seeing a few more bass videos before March. And then you'll see some videos on blue marlin fishing here soon. So get ready for that. We'll be in the Bahamas and Miami. So get ready. It's going to be fun. We've got uh, Miguel, our new captain. We're going to go fish with him. And we're going to go practice on the new 66. So that's going to be super fun. Ready for that. But let me know down in the comments what y'all thought of today's video. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Catch you in the next one.